support for victims of domestic abuse. Uh, that was a boxer, uh, Amina, today who was got his boxing license suspended because he posted a video last night trying to teach men how to beat their wives or girlfriends um, during this whole crisis. He said, oh, it was a joke. He issued an apology. But this is not a joking matter. We are seeing an increase in domestic violence as a result of coronavirus. Absolutely. First of all, thank you, Roland, so much for this opportunity to be able to talk about this. This is a, a serious situation because outside of COVID-19, domestic violence numbers um, are on a high on a daily basis. People don't understand when it comes to domestic violence that it, it's domestic violence. Before the violence comes, the domestic part comes, which is verbal abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse that's happening now, even spiritual abuse from what we're seeing. So the tension building behind that is what is causing then that physical part. And we're in a very, we're in a crisis right now. And we know that. And so even when it comes to financial and not knowing how the money and where their checks are coming and people being laid off at high numbers, the increase of violence alone is high. So even with domestic violence, think about it from this point, Roland. We have a stay at home order. My God, stay at home. So you have to stay at home with your abuser who's mentally breaking you down, emotionally breaking you down, phys physically now breaking you down and you have nowhere to go. And even on a global number um, that domestic violence comes in so many different forms outside of what we know even in the United States. So even China's numbers with the coronavirus and COVID-19, that was at a height even to the divorce rate. So this is serious. One in four, it was one in three. So without the coronavirus, one in four women. So let's just do, we already have to be what, 10 in a room? So one in four counts. But the numbers has changed in the last year to one in three. And one in seven men, this boxer who's doing this, one in seven men are even being abused. But because of ego, they don't talk about that. You, so what does a person do? I mean, you, you're shelter in place. Correct. What do you do? So, so it's very important that during this time, number one, we do not pass judgments. Because until you have been in certain situations, that you don't even know or understand what it's about. So we have to be very cautious and mindful of what's happening right now in people's homes. And so when people are reaching out to you, if they're not going to reach out to you. But you know what we have to do, Roland? We have to reach out to them. So if, if someone is on your heart, if someone is in your spirit, if a name pops in, um, a, a song, a scent, whatever it may be, it's a, you a text away because they need to know that they're not alone. And so it's important. We have resources locally as well as state, um, national domestic violence um, hotline, the 799-800-799-7233. I can give you those information. You have local. I am based here in Washington, D.C. And even in the DMV area, in Prince George's County alone, the number of homicides on a day outside of on a time uh, that we're in an epidemic outside of this, a pandemic, excuse me, outside of this, it is increased by even 500%. 500? <laughs> so we need to just reach out to people. Let them know that they are not alone. Give them local uh, foundation numbers, such as mine, and so forth. Pray like never before. Um, and so this time is very, very serious. Even when it comes to the increase in just one week, less than a week, Roland, Less than a week, the domestic violence hotlines, local uh, foundations are seeing increase in numbers. And ironically that we're talking about this today on April the 1st, Roland, this is the month, April, of sexual assault. So when people are locked up, you know, I heard something, it wasn't funny, but, you know, it was what people were saying, come December, it's going to be a whole bunch of babies and stuff. Even when it comes to sexual assault, that's abuse. So now when you got the tension and you're going to come here and you're going to, you know, I want to be intimate. Domestic violence is with the intimate partner. Mm -hmm. An intimate partner can be parental. It's a, it's a spectrum of domestic violence. Doc, uh, first of all, Amina, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. We want to give folks the information. Uh, again, folks, uh, we want you to place that phone call, uh, get help. You should not be in a situation uh, where you are being beaten and you think there's nobody to, uh, to be there for you. Uh, Amina, 
Thanks a bunch. Thank you so much. And I pray for all of us and be mindful that we are here together. Thank you, Roland. All right. You take care, folks. Amina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Handles. Got to go to a break. We come back. We go check with D-Nice. Have any of y'all been, been part of his club quarantine? Any of y'all? Brooke, Scott, Derek? I ain't seen uh-huh. Well, we, 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 I was one of that 100,000. Of course. First of all, we, we know Scott ain't got no rhythm, so he wasn't there. Uh, but I, I've, seen, I've seen Brooke at Club Quarantine. I tried, to yeah. holla, I tried to holla at you, but it was too packed. All right, y'all. Right. I'm, I'm going to go to a break. We come back. We're going to chat with D-Nice. And, of course, we're going to also talk to Desmond Mead about what's happening in prisons in Florida, how they're being protected. we got also uh, this white school board member in Montgomery, Alabama, y'all. Dropped it like it's hot. She went off in the meeting basically saying we ain't helping these black kids because we ain't trying to help black kids. We're going to talk with it right here. Roller Martin Unfiltered. Back in a moment. You want to check out Roller Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roller Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it. Martin.